So I painted this cute little painting of a skeleton, and I thought it'd be cool to paint something over the top that would peel off. So cool, we're gonna try to do that. Today's video is sponsored by Canva. So if we go back, ooh, I don't know how long. Some of like my first videos, I made this video where I made this pillway sticker or scratch away sticker. And that first part, first video, I like designed a couple different layers so I could make uh, two layered stickers and then practiced and see what would scratch off. And then in that second video, I figured out that if you use like some like acrylic paint and soap, it could scratch off pretty easily. So I made some stickers with that scratch off acrylic paint and put those on top of a different sticker so that you could like scratch it away. Cool, 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 cool. So that's kind of, I don't know where this idea is coming from, but also if we go back, way, way back, when Sweet Little Brian, oh, there's a cute little Instagram of this one. But if you go back to when I was in college, I did like this piece where I would peel away and oh, it kind of was my theme for a little bit. If we go even further back, uh, the whole idea was, I don't know, to show, get like some aspect of time within a painting. And honestly, I kind of just like the concept. So we're going to try to recreate it and figure out how to do it with uh, this one. So first thing I was going to do is going to test out different acrylics on this pre gesso board. So I just got four blacks and then we're going to have a little control because science. And then we're going to do one with Vaseline, one with soap, and then one with Vaseline and soap. I also want to see how it affect white acrylic. So I took the Vaseline, started rubbing on, and it wasn't dry yet. So I had to repaint it on and then let it dry and then try again. So put the Vaseline on that one and then that last one with the Vaseline and soap. And then we took the acrylic paint and I did one that was just pure acrylic and then I made one that was acrylic with soap. And so we're going to put the acrylic paint on top of the first one with the control to see how it works and then one with the Vaseline. Then we're going to use the soapy acrylic on one without Vaseline and then one with Vaseline and see how it works. So let it dry. And then right off the bat, like, yeah, this doesn't really work. Kind of knew that. The Vaseline, it peel off so clean, but it peel off like a sheet. So that could work. And then this one surprisingly didn't work. So that's what worked. I think that it was just like too stuck to the acrylic. And then the last one, yeah, that's kind of the effect we want. We want it to be like flaky off. The peel off might be cool too. Ooh, maybe I'll try the peel-off in a future one. But for now, I just reapplied that Vaseline to that one because I wanted to see if I could layer it up. So I mixed up a little color, and the idea was, like, if I did a skull and then the top layer was, like, a face, this could be, like, kind of, like, the the under, like, the fleshy part. So anyways, I just painted that down and let it dry, and then painted it again with some soapy acrylic on top, a little face. So if that peeled away, it could, like, be a skull. Cool. Yep, so that's what we're gonna do. Something like that. Where we paint a base layer and paint on top. So first thing I did was I took a little gessoed box and started sketching out how I wanted it to look. And then put a little like first coat, second coat, highlights, low lights. I I don't know, I haven't painted forever. I love painting. I wish I was like I wish that was my main thing. I actually was going to school for painting and drawing. Maybe I'll go back one day. Anyways. I feel like I'm like super impatient when it comes to acrylics and I want to like mix the colors on the, the painting. That's why I like oils. And I'm not great at mixing colors off or on my palette and adding them, but we, we made it work. Added that, did a little dry brush effect to make it all like kind of the same color. Again, added some highlights and then started painting in. Like I just watered down that and painted on the little texture and then came across with a thick black line. I almost kind of wish I would have done a thinner one, but this made for a cool, like, kind of cartoony effect. And time to do the same thing on the skull part. So added the highlights, added the low lights, changed the color up a little bit, and came back again with, I think, the purple, using, like, good old complementary colors. Uh, added the lines, and so for the, like, I want to do a big smiley face over the top of his skull, and so I cut out this circle. 
best I could to kind of give me a guide on how that's going to be on top of it. So yeah, that's a little guide. That's kind of what we're going to make it look like. So then I just started painting. Um, I wanted like a, a purple silhouette, sure, halo, I don't know, to wear. Uh, so as another guide for when I'm painting this, my face over the top. So I just paint that circle out first. And then we're going to do the background in black. Fix up some of the lines. Time to add the Vaseline. Now that it's nice and dry. I let it dry overnight because I was scared. So I put that on. And then I got the nice soapy, oh, soapy yellow. Made it to the yellow I wanted. Just started adding on top. Let it dry. Added another layer. Let it dry again. And you can already see the cracking, which was fun. And then I did the soapy black on top to add in the details. I thought I would add a little bit of dimension to that smiley face. And with that, we're good. Hopefully this works. Uh. So first, huge thank you to today's sponsor, Canva. Canva is online design made easy. They have thousands of custom templates, stock images, and easy to use editing software. Everything you need to design your brand. So let's say you want to make an Instagram story that not only tells a story, but also looks professional and stands out. Canva has thousands of templates for you to pick from, and some of them actually are animated, which is super cool, and they're fully customizable. They also have a brand kit so you can organize all of their brand logos, your colors, and fonts, so everything will have the same voice and same feel, no matter who's working on it. A content planner so you can decide when things go out. And both of these things go hand in hand with the fact that you can create a team and work collaboratively. Collaboratively, that's a great word. Oh, with your team in unison and in real time. They also got a new feature where you can actually make some videos. They have a bunch of templates for that and it's super easy. It's basically just drag and drop. And again, it's fully customizable from what it says to where the images are to where like anything is. You can also change how things enter into the screen, which is super cool. So you can make things look uh, on brand and also make them look like you spent thousands of hours on it when really you can do it with the click of a button. So you can actually go to the link in my description to get 45 days of Canva Pro for free. Getting a professional look in design and voice is literally just a link and a couple clicks away. So you can join today. Cool. So with it all dry, ooh, time to start peeling away. This is kind of nerve wracking, but it peeled super easily and super like it didn't leave any marks. I kind of think like if I would have done just like acrylic on top of here, I would peel off in a sheet, would have looked um, kind of cooler to be filmed. But it wasn't necessar necessarily the final result that I was looking for. I wanted it to be like flaky so that I can do this and add like pieces all around it and make it look like it kind of just exploded or popped like a balloon. Ooh, that kind of would have been cool. But there we go. Got herself a pillow away painting. Uh, this is kind of fun. I think it'd be fun to do some more of these in the future and play around with them. Do different ideas. So if you guys have different ideas of like what should peel off to reveal what, I mean, leave it in the comments. So cool. Alright, so be sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell notification. And yeah, if you want to be a schmoody pie and uh, get your name on my video here at the end, just go to my website.